No, you look pretty standard. Now, now you're a big L, Louise. <laughs> Did my camera go out? I don't know. Hello. Mm-hmm. Too high. All right, I see me. There you go. Now I see you. Hey. You exist now. I exist. I do exist. <laughs> and look, I was actually even able to bring up a character sheet on my own this time. <laughs> I need to call tax support, so to speak. <laughs> Hi. All right. Back. I think it looks like we are probably good to go. I uh, want to do a quick recap of what happened last week. Shitstorm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a polite way of putting it. That's a polite way of putting it. Hey, but it worked. It did. <laughs> Here you complain it then. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It was fun. It was a blast, but man, it's kind of no hairy. How you succeed, it's only the uh -oh. you succeed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, fair point. But he lost a limb, we're all right. Yeah, so we were in our APC. We went scouting, right? Mm -hmm. And then we got a call that uh, Calico had been kidnapped, right? Yep. And uh, hatched a dastardly plan, including social media hacking and a flash mob, essentially, to, to get her back. And, and then I think we, we shot down some drones, maybe. I mm -hmm. think that happened. The part was that it worked. I'm actually yeah, shocked that that plan actually worked. Yeah. <laughs> I I am and as well as it did. Nobody in front of us. Yeah, I am pleasantly surprised. Put it that way. <laughs> <sighs> Works for okay. me. So you had all managed to get the stuff and kind of get the hell out of there. Um, unfortunately. Now you have left behind the, well, the now crushed cars that uh, the agents were in, sent by Daedalus, and you are now kind of on the run. Yes, we are. <laughs> yeah, in in true heroic style, we're running for our lives. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which way are we heading? Hey. So as a reminder, you are in the Tanzer, this uh, essentially big-ass, um, almost APC-style vehicle. Uh, you have got Evangeline uh, Watkins, Watkins in the back, and she is uh, a bit rough shaped, I mean, in enough pain from the different cybernetics and such. And inside you have Penray. And oh. Pen is sort of for LSU Penray and now um, newly rescued North. <laughs> and you see like the the rave kind of behind you. The the gathering is people are kind of starting to like spill out into the to the the dirt roads. Just sort of stare as you just Penray just looks like. Where are we gonna go now? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, as we're as we're driving away, the additional drones that were in the area, the ones I didn't take out, there because yep. I think you said there were two or three, um, just additional drones. Mm -hmm. Are they following? Um, I'm assuming you want to shoot them down. Uh, I'm, that's my my plan. Yeah, if, yeah, if, we'll, I, if I can, we'll say it won't be too hard to just sort of uh, take those out. So at least momentarily. Uh, they are going to end up having to find a different way of tracking you, um, which, granted, there's going to be a ton of resources that they have, but you have at least a little bit of time before they get something up in the air. One of the problems is, is this is a big enough vehicle. Uh, it leaves some tracks, so if they get someone out there, they're going to be able to follow you until you reach sort of a road, and then there's a decent chance they'll have hackers checking things. Right. So, 
Remember Adrian Chow was supposed to have the Tanzer delivered, but now that it's hot, that's a little bit of a problem. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, and now I know that this uh, Evangeline has been doing this for a while. Mm -hmm. She's she's going to need to rest, but we also can't mm -hmm. chance s standing still for too long. Mm -hmm. um, I... I'm going to ask... Um, I would assume they're going to start using satellites, right? Right. Well, I, and my, my question is, I'm going to ask, uh, is it pay? Mm -hmm. um, will my head jack work with this particular vehicle? Like, could I give her a break? She goes, uh, with, with something like this, no. This is actually designed for military-grade uh, sort of cyberware. Okay. To take over. Dang. So we need and to find a clicky part. I don't think it's going to cut. It. Yeah. No. So one of the nice things is it's very hard to steal simply because you have to have like some heavy duty serious shit to be able to drive it. Okay. No. I just wanted to double check because I figured that as much, but um, also realizing that she can't take as much as we might need, mm -hmm. and I, and the whole point is to she protect her. And, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> So, yeah, all right. Depends on it. She's like, I, I don't know how we're going to to get away with this because they're going to find it. I mean, we can't hide this that many places. Right. So I see two steps. One, we kind of need to ditch the Tanzer. As useful as it is, it's conspicuous. And they know how to find it now. So that would be step one, to hopefully at least get them to lose us for a little while. Uh, and then step two, we need to figure out how to get Penn. I assume you would like to go with Evangeline wherever she goes. And we need to figure out how to get you guys away away from from this town for at least for a while. Because we we're not going to be able to do much against Edelus, just the three of us at least. No. Yeah, Peng kind of nods. She's like, um, I do, I know some people that might be able to help. Uh, it could be a little, it's, there's Project Rejuvenation. Uh, you've heard of Project Rejuvenation before. They are essentially ecological action group. Like, they do a lot of, like, protests against corporate activities they kind of make themselves a pain in the butt, but they are, they've been growing. Uh, they, they have a tendency to use a lot of both social media and news stuff to create problems for others. It's, they, they're sort of a, a kind of a pain in the butt, thorn in the side, but they're not necessarily uh, as... They're trolls, but they're good trolls. That's yeah, I mean, trying <laughs> they're trying to keep track of, of what's yeah, of what's happening. The only problem becomes they don't have the they don't have a corporation's uh, reach, right? So any fight they get it, and they're always the underdog. Yeah. And she's like, I've met some people from there before. Uh, I know that they are they are not a fan of Daedalus at all. Particularly, I mean, Daedalus, because they're here in this area, Daedalus has been a giant problem because they basically destroyed... I mean, the economy is going very well if you're in the right spot for it. Mm. But for most people, it's really going poorly. They have created a lot of poverty and difficulty in the streets. Well, that's good. Sounds, uh, sounds familiar. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that was that. Now, is there any is. place that no, I look at Pam and go, hey, Pam, what did you have as an idea for where we could take her? Other than them? Yeah, I mean, is there any place that's outside of their reach? Other than, otherwise, other than these guys? She goes, I was, I was hoping to get it to um, Adrian Chow, but I didn't really think of. I thought she would be able to protect us if we showed up, but not against the entire corp. Right. I think she's still a good stop for getting rid of the. The, the Tanzer potentially. And I the, could dump this on her yeah. doorstep. The Tanzer is what she the Tanzer is what she wanted. Right. And so that would service both of uh, any promises you made and uh would would help us in our desire to to be a little less conspicuous. 
So I can well, call it. Takes, it takes eventually to get Angeline out of the, you know, out of the pain situation. Right. Then she's not under so much stress, uh, which would be right. better for her as well. So we can, if if we're gonna go that route, I I should call Adrian first. I'd hate to dump this all in her lap, thinking with her thinking this would be a standard deal. Well, rude to show up. Hey, look. Exactly. You know the. I have a gift, and it's gonna, gonna be a problem. Reminds me of it. Reminds me of the scene at the end of Smokey and the Bandit when he shows up and he's like, yeah, first I need the <laughs> I need the money and I need a way out of here." <laughs> like. Oh yeah, by the way, they're right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah if we could avoid... I really, really think that's a good idea for a contact for us to do that. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd rather this bridge remain thoroughly unburned. Personally, so... Bridges right. are best that way. Yeah. Do, you give, do you give her a call? Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and get a, give Adrian a call. Alright, uh, what is your relationship with Adrian? <laughs> uh, there is... We have affectionate. Uh, affectionate. Uh, I, I had meant that for be uh, me me towards her. Okay. Well, I'm assuming there's at least like <clears throat> some sort of friendship there because. Oh yeah. Yeah. But I might um, be a little more smitten than she is. <laughs> yeah. So you you basically know the right people to call, um, the, to to get directly through. Uh, call a couple people, and then after a moment, picks up. <coughs> Double check your name. <laughs> Caden, <laughs> you've reached me at kind of a weird time. How are you? Oh, having my own weird time, as it were, actually. Uh, so I'm. That's what you want. Uh, yes. Well, I'm here with, with <laughs> Pan Ray, and I uh, am in possession of some property that I believe was a part of a deal of yours too. <laughs> <laughs> You're with the Tanzer. Yes. How did you end up in that thing? Well, you know how sometimes you just end up in a bar with friends and then all of a sudden you're in a shootout with violent bikers. No, 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 that happens to no one. I'm not sure how I got here. <laughs> well, sounds like you have quite a story. Um, and you have something I was going to buy. Is Pen with you? Yeah, she's here. Yeah, I was hoping she'd be a little more sneaky about how she went around things. But nope, she decided to blow a big hole in something and then drive her way out. Yeah, things got a little complicated. We have precious cargo that needs transport. Precious cargo. Nothing worth profit, just something worth protecting. Well, the problem I've got right now is there are people looking for that thing, and it is got Daedalus all over downtown. Lovely. Oh I can't imagine this is the first time you've had to deal in hot merchandise. <laughs> hot is putting it mildly. <laughs> the hot merchandise I can deal with. What you have is currently on fire, and I prefer to put it out before I put my hands on it. Fire? It's more like lava. Um, get on the I'll, couch or kind of let stuff. Me, let me check something. You hear kind of like a couple of key taps in the background. Hmm. We have got something interesting in Hennepin. We have a large amount of people that are gathering against the Daedalus teams that are starting to do sweeps through areas of the city. Hmm. Oh, I wonder what they're looking for. <laughs> the Daedalus are looking for you. The people <laughs> are getting a little pissed off about the fact that, well, that they've all lost their jobs, that Daedalus has screwed them over. Um, if we could push things a little bit, cause some chaos. Nope. I got a piece that... arriving. I'll be right with you. Okay. Plus, that's not in my territory. I wouldn't mind a little. Something going wrong down there. Go. Yeah, here. Miriam. Somebody take care of my. He's yeah. still got his mic on. <laughs> That's okay. Mom, uh, I told you play the game. <laughs> God. 
I would say um, we probably uh, will definitely need a distraction, a, a big distraction that could be very beneficial. I think. Work all well for us so far. And I think she's like, you go get plates. Just if I had something that could just push that over the edge a bit. Uh, hmm. Well, I don't suppose they'd fall for another uh, appearance by a pop star. <laughs> pop Likely star. not. Are, 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 yeah, are you in a place where... <laughs> where oh, no, I'm not putting her... Are you in a place where Adrian would be able to hear you? Ernesto? Oh, um, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so she could have a moment where she's just like, pop star? What pop star? Oh, uh, never mind. You probably didn't hear about the disturbance. <laughs> never mind. It's probably well, not in the news yet. Yeah, Wait. I'll... I'll fill her in a little bit because we're a little more familiar with as well. Good calico north, I assume. Can't blow who has you, you, you got a what? Hi. Uh, just talking to Adrian, just you know. Letting Marcus, me... can you Marcus, can you mute a little bit? We're getting a lot of like. Um... Oh, sorry. Wait, yeah. hold on. 